because these group of people think you should be doing this, that's what you're going to do. Or these group of people over here think that you should be doing this, so that's what you're going to be doing. And they're going to be pulled this way. You don't even talk to God about it. And he will line you up exactly where you're supposed to be. And you won't need to seek validation from anybody else but him. <laughs> joining me for another Friday mommy moment with me I'm Ivy and no you don't have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment all you need is a moment now I know you guys are like what is she doing what is that that I hear okay I am outside you guys y'all know that with the virus going on all the kids are home my mom is home always and my husband is working from home but it's beautiful out here. You'll probably hear the wind, you'll probably hear some cars. But other than that, I am outside and I am recording to bring this Friday mommy moment right to you. And y'all know that I got my coffee. And you guys, if you have not checked out our Etsy shop, go ahead and check out our Etsy shop. We do have some new things coming. And I appreciate all you guys who are supporting us on this journey. Be sure to check out Sira Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. Y'all know, on Friday, Mommy Moments, we do shout outs. And today, the shout out is going out to all of you because everybody is staying in the house. Everybody is making sure that we're using the proper precautions so we are not spreading this virus. It's everybody who has been infected or been around somebody or have loved ones struggling with it. You guys stay encouraged. Stay encouraged because this is a hard time for everyone. And me, y'all know I be struggling with my anxiety, trying to keep myself together. Thank God my husband is home. but. Everybody is still trying to, you know, stay prayed up, constantly encouraging each other, surrounding yourself with positive people. A lot of people I have pulled back from just because it's like, I don't want to be in fear mode. I don't want to be in panic mode. And some people in your life, they might trigger certain things. You just have to pull back. And that's okay for right now because everybody is trying to stay leveled and keep their self at bay so they can be functioning. You know, you can't function properly under fear and in panic, just so you know. I know, trust me. So let's get into this Friday mommy moment. If you don't already got your coffee, your beverage, whatever it is, your quarantine snacks, go and grab them and I'll meet you right back here. So today I wanted to come on and not take too much of your time, but I wanted to encourage you to be you. And I also want to encourage you to stop looking for validation from other people. There's so many things that's going on in our lives that we feel that if this person give it the okay, that's what we should be doing. When our reality is, what if that person that you think should give that okay, think that that's something that you shouldn't be doing? Then you're going to second guess it. I know a lot of people don't believe the way that I believe, or I don't force my faith on other people. I still be myself, whether they believe in what I believe or not, but I be respectful about it. A lot of times when it's something that I feel that I want to do or I should be doing, I always talk to my husband about it, but at the end of the day, God is going to give me an answer. He might not give me that answer right away, or sometimes he do give me that answer right away. But looking for validation from other people, whether we should take a step forward or take a step back, will always put us off track. I've known that to be for me. It might not be like that for other people. God might have told you to do something, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. But you got all these naysayers saying, no, that's not what you should be doing at that time and you don't do it. A lot of times we will miss out on our blessings because we are listening to the naysayers or we're looking for validation in all the wrong areas. We're doing things, we're changing ourselves constantly to try to appeal to the people. You guys, you're not always gonna be a people pleaser. Cause these group of people think you should be doing this, that's what you're gonna do. Or these group of people over here think that you should be doing this, so that's what you're gonna be doing. And they're gonna be pulled this way. Sit down and talk to God about it. And he will line you up exactly where you're supposed to be. And you won't need to seek validation from anybody else but him. You will find yourself in a panic mode, anxiety, depression, feeling like you don't belong because you're looking for validation from people. 
people change their mind all the time. People follow what's trending. What if you're not into what's trending? So you're gonna make yourself do something that's trending when that does not bring you happiness? Be yourself. That is the best thing that you can be is your authentic self because nowadays that's rare. You have so many people chasing that person, so many people chasing that trend, so many people doing all these things just to fit in and they lose their self. They lose their family, they lose the people that really support them. They think everybody's hating on them. No. At the end of the day, sit down and be like, you know what God, is this something that I should be doing? And he will give you an answer. And sometimes it's not the answer that we want. But he'll give you an answer. Stop seeking validation from the world. Stop. You know who your people are that have your back. You know who the people who want the best for you. People that's going to pray you through situations. People that are going to speak life into you. People that want to see you doing well. Other than that, other people's validation on what you should be doing isn't really going to help you out. There's so many things that people said no to and God gave me a firm yes. Stop seeking validation from people and take it to God and see what he has to say about it. So that is what I had on my heart to share with you guys today. I hope that the wind and the nature's graceful sounds wasn't too much for you guys because I think I might be out here next Friday too. We'll see, whatever God has for me. <laughs> I pray that you guys stay healthy. I pray that you guys stay connected with your loved ones. And I wish the best for everyone in this trying time that the world is going through together. Follow the guidelines that's being put out there for our protection, you guys. I know we wanna live life to the fullest, but sometimes we need to take a step back. And if they say, you know what I mean, just chill out, let's just chill out for a while. And um, I pray that we all get through this together and come out much stronger and much connected because right now, the world needs prayer. All right, you guys, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Stewart Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out.